Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to Subnautica. I've got a problem! I'm about to die! <laughs> my water content is too far low and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to recover it. I might be able to recover it if I can get a fish that's gonna be able to give me some goddamn water. Preferably like a bladder fish or maybe one of these bad boys. Bladder fish! Come here! I bet if I eat you, I get some water. No! No! I'm gonna die. I'm dead. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm gonna here. Here's how I die. I die. I, I hear. I'm dead. I'm dead now. This is me being dead. Dead is me. Ha 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 ha. Well, there. Well, fucking god damn it. At least god fuck. I lost a whole hell of a lot. I lost more than I was willing to lose, but that's okay. At least I still have my ion crystals, and at least I'm back in my base. So that you know. You can kind of look at the positive things in life. I'm gonna let Red Icorn take care of the ion crystals, and I'm gonna keep this disinfected water on me at all times, and hopefully not die. But welcome back! I have to do a thing. I have to build some more lockers. Okay, so I have three new names on the locker. The first being Don Le Nguyen, who said, finally, you got the prawn suit, no hacks, which I've been very proud of. I've done nothing to cheat in this game, period, and it has been such an enjoyable experience. Except for all the dying and the being terrified of the ocean parts. That kind of sucked, but that's okay. Next up is Keith Seely, who wanted to know exactly how many times I blew up my Seamoth, and the answer is zero! I did not none! It's the same Seamoth that I built. I wouldn't want to have go out and build another one, because I'm lazy and I hope to keep everything that I have intact. And then Char, who had some really interesting insight into the lore of this. So, apparently, we all know about the Degasi. But ten years ago is when the Degasi mysteriously vanished while trying to make a slingshot maneuver around this very planet, which is exactly what the Aurora was trying to do as well. And apparently the aliens don't know the difference between a slingshot maneuver and someone trying to land on the planet. And supposedly, if you take a look at your hands, and I don't know if these are going to be able to show the hands, but if you take a look at your hands, anything that gets on this planet is infected by a disease, like literally infected by a disease that is only on this planet and that is why the planet is quarantined. It's not something that's so profound as like the curse of existence. Literally that gun is there to be like, hey, don't fucking come on this planet it is under quarantine, you will die. This is for your own good. It's apparently something that kills absolutely everything it touches, but that doesn't explain why the biology of this planet is so vibrant. So that's what Char says, so I don't know if that's 100% accurate. It sounds accurate, but it's just fascinating to think that there's such a virulent strain of disease that these aliens are doing everything they can to make sure it never leaves. So anyway, that is as far as I go on the lore of it. Next up, I have to make this prawn suit. And in order to be able to do that, I need aluminum oxide, I need plasteel, aerogel, and lubricant. Now, the only complicated thing is the plasteel, but that's actually not too bad because even though I got robbed of my lithium, I have one diamond in there. That's nice to know. I'm pretty sure I have enough to be able to make more plasteel. So, plasteel is just a combination of a titanium ingot and lithium. So I just need a buttload of titanium and then lithium and then I need a spore sack and I need aluminum oxide crystals. Now aluminum oxide crystals, I believe, I'm not 100% sure on this one, but I'm pretty sure that they are down south. And by down south, I mean really down south, like really down south. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put away anything that I absolutely don't need. I need to put up my keep composter because it's freaking adorable. Boop, boop, boop. To put that there. Get my prawn shoot poster there. And boop. Oh, that's nice. I like that. I got decorations. I'm a decorator. I'm one that likes keepsakes because I'm so freaking alone and I desperately cling on to anything that's gonna keep me in contact with the human species. I'm gonna die! Oh, but maybe I'm not. Oh, what a cute kitty. So, what I need is I need to go down into 
the depths. God damn it, my Seamoth is all the way over fucking there. God damn it, where's my goddamn Sea Glide? Urban streets? Yeah, you got my Sea Glide. Give me my goddamn Sea Glide. We're gonna fucking glide here. I know. God damn it, I died. I'm an idiot. All right, I go, gotta go pick up my Seamoth from the impound lot. But then I'm gonna go get aluminum oxide crystals and then I should be able to make the prawn suit right away. And thankfully, there's a whole buttload of things to mine out by the Aurora. So it wasn't too bad of an idea to keep my base there. But eventually I'll move it out to get closer to other places that I need to go. Okay, we got my Seamoth. I'm gonna hit back to base. I'm gonna drop off my Sea Glide and hopefully we're gonna be able to explore the deepest, darkest regions that we can at this moment. We can only go 300 meters down, but that's enough to be able to explore the purple caves and maybe find that other underwater base because there is an underwater base down somewhere in that area. I just don't know if it's in those caves right there. They may be in another one, but I'm not well versed in the new geology of this planet, but we'll get there soon enough. It's all about learning and exploring and having fun as we do it. Right? And not dying! Hopefully not dying is gonna be good! I might, I might as well grab this, you know, this all this fucking titanium here because I'm gonna need a whole bunch of you before I get back eventually. So I might as well drop all this scrap off and then be able to build what I need to build. Alright, it's so gonna drop some shit off. Yep. Uh, bloop, 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 bloop. And gonna put you back in urban stretch. Alright, that should be everything that I need on the way again. Don't hit my base, you fucking bitch. I'm on the road again. Don't go nowhere, no bitch. I'm gonna hit you. Oh, okay. Habuski. Oh, also, I want to hit up my, uh, I want to hit up the life pod real quick because apparently there are messages waiting for me in that life pod. Now, I don't know what these messages are going to say, and I don't know what they're going to mean for me, but they probably are going to be interesting. Ah, good. <laughs> I think they finally made the stationary. All right, up we go. Hello. <laughs> This is Lafette in Life Pod 17. I survived the impact, but there's something outside the hatch trying to get in. If anyone's still out there, my coordinates are attached. This message will now repeat. I don't know who Lafette is, and I don't know where your coordinates are, but let's take a gander. Okay, yours is... Oh, it's over there. All right, then. Well, that's the only message that I've got, and it's pretty new, so... I'll give, I'll give it a look, but I've got other things to do. I don't know what we'll be trying to get in. It could be something big, but judging by his not-panicked nature, I'm assuming it's something not entirely huge. Unless it's just one of the bitey things over here. But given that it's new, it may have been something new that was trying to get in. I have no idea. Oh, apparently I have a new message, okay? They keep giving me messages when I'm not in. Why can't they call when I'm there? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Is that always there? Oh, hello. Okay, well, something got in, apparently. Man, I don't even know. Hey, 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 you spastic piece of shit. Whoa! Whoa! Stop freaking out! Hey! Hey! Wrong! Wrong! You are much faster than you used to be. Holy shit. Those things used to be fat, like slow and docile. There's a data pad in there that I want to get. Okay, data download, anything else in here? Okay, yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. You want to eat me. I get it. Everybody else does. I get it. Here we go. Life pod made planet fall intact approximately one hour ago. Environmental instruments were knocked offline with my face pressing against the glass. I can make out shadows shifting about water in front of me. Every so often the pod is rocked by some kind of collision. I cannot tell whether the pod is bumping up against the rocks or there's something out there trying to get in. Either way, the hull is beginning to buckle. I can see what's left of the aurora from the top hatch. We were carrying anything and everything we might need to complete the phase gate. All-terrain vehicles, thermal reactors, propulsion cannons. I'm gonna go out there and scavenge whatever I can s find, see if I can reinforce the life pod hull. Well, I'm guessing that when he went outside, he found a face full of death. And now I'm about to found a face full of death because the sun is setting. But what is this? Unknown technology? Oh, still suit. Oh, cool. That is the thing I believe that re recycles water, which is gonna be very good. I always enjoy drinking my own piss. I always enjoy a nice refreshing glass of piss. Really soothes my soul. But I see another scannable. Getting the fuck back in my ship now. Holy shit, we're going away. Okay, is that about everything? Ooh, hello. Are you going down? You're down to the purple caves, aren't you? 
Ooh, that's scary. Hello! Hi! My name is Markiplier! Am I welcome in this wonderland of purple hell? I bet not! Who's got a worm in ya? Which one of you got a friendly worm? Oh ho ho! Every day is a new chance to experience hell. Am I in the right place for aluminum oxide? Conditions in this cave may support microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life forms. Try to counter unanticipated threats by anticipating them. Well, fuck you then. It seems like it's just gonna be gold and lithium, which doesn't exactly help me. Stop it! Not worth it. I'm hearing a lot of roaring! And ow. And I came down here to get away from all the roaring. I, I don't appreciate none of that. Well, it seems like I might be in the wrong place. Because I'm not seeing what I need. Ooh. That's a biggin. That, that's a biggin. That's a big one. Cause that's a small one. That's a big boy. Why's that guy so- Oh. Ugh. I don't- that, uh, I don't think- uh, I'm pretty sure- I'm pretty sure something wrong on- going on there. That- 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 that ain't right. That- that's not right. There's something wrong there. If there is an underwater base here, man, they were fucked in the head because who would put an- Oh my god! There's an underwater base! Who did this? Who was fucked up enough to build one down here? Ugh. Moon pool! Moon pool! Moon pool! Moon pool! Okay, so what I'm gonna do actually, I'm going to change out this. This down here. Put this on. Rebreather, which should help me not lose as much oxygen as I have been. Which should allow me to explore this place without getting horribly fubbernucked. Here we go. Scanner at the ready. What was that? Nothing. Hold on, nothing. Drupal stinger. I don't want the drooper. Oh, water filtration. Hell yes! Stop screaming at me! Okay, got water filtration, which is gonna be good. No, thank you, thank you, no thank you, no thank you. Eesh, eesh, eesh. Okay, PDA. Bed one? Hell yeah! Oh, a double better for eventually when I have friends! I'll be able to have them sleep next to me so I can watch them when they sleep. Okay, goodbye. I'm out of here, out of oxygen. Ooh. Of oxygen oh remaining. shit, oh shit, oh shit. Just wanted to grab this. Okay, got that. That was it. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. God damn it, get the fuck down! Eee! I'm out, I'm out, baby. I'm outie. Outie, outie, outie. What is that? Is there light? Oh, that's my light. Is that my light? That's my light. Hee! <laughs> okay, we got that. Shit, fuck. Okay, something happened. We've been die. Hey, hey, what the fuck? What the f- what the f- what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, everybody shut the fuck up. I'm not happy with what's going on here. Also, you big droopy bitch, I hit you. Something happened, we've been out here for two months, now we ran out of enameled glass. Hello, big guy. And Margaret, here's what she does. She goes out to the kelp forest, armed with just a heat blade, and goes fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. No wonder she was so interested last night to know what I'd learned about him. Based on my wild theories about alien behavior, she hand-fed him an alien shark. She came home with a fresh cut on her forearm. Didn't say anything about it, but I guess it took a couple tries. She says once they're fed, they're harmless. She brought home all the teeth we need. On one hand, that is the most badass thing I've ever heard, and now I'm sitting in this observatory watching biters tap armlessly at the glass. On the other hand, how many of those incredible creatures did she have to kill to just to tame one? What effects are we having on the ecosystem here? If only I had a full-size aquarium, I would kill to study these life forms in detail. We're already more than 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Margaret, we've been here a couple months now, Chief. Look around us. I see water leaking through the hull. Water outside the hatch. Water above me, below me. We're drowning. Real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down is going to do that again. And again, until it's shut off. You see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would an off switch be any more likely be a half a kilometer down? It's a hunch. You're mad. I'm going, and I've got an idea you two are gonna follow. If you do, be mindful your authority stopped at sea level. Well, I mean, they're not wrong. They're actually quite right, because apparently there is a research station even farther down below. It's just fascinating to hear the story about these people that were here from the Degasi, which is the, the ship that crashed ten years ago. Like, ten years! I mean, obviously these people are probably long dead. Because if, you know, if, if the elements didn't kill them, then they killed each other, because obviously they weren't getting along. And if they're not getting along and there's no cooperation, then there's definitely not going to be a way that they're going to survive. And hello! 
Where are we now? Oh! We're where I built a base before, I think. Where I used to build a base, anyway. So what I need to do now is I need to look up where the aluminum oxide is because I have not found any. And I'm not gonna end this episode without a prawn suit. So I'm gonna find that right now. I know where it is now. It's in the Grand Reef. And so the Grand Reef is actually to the south of here, or at least in the ass end of the Aurora. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get down far enough to get to the Grand Reef because my limit is 300 meters and I can only dive so far down and I do not have uh, my sea glider to be able to get some extra distance as I go down, but maybe I'll be able to go down far enough, but I'm not 100% sure. I just really want that aluminum oxide, so I'll be back if I know I can get it. I'll have an answer for you either way. Ooh, I think this is it. Is that aluminum oxide? Or is that just quartz? This is quartz. Damn it. Take you. Where's the Illuminati? Where's the Illuminati? Where is it? Taking you with me. You're gonna tell me what my answer is. Oh, there it is. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna take this anyway. All right, so I can get aluminum oxide. I definitely 100% can. But I just can't go that deep in getting it. That's okay, Karen. I appreciate your concern. But me and my friend here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, look at his shadow. Holy shit, that's weird. Okay, me and my friend here, we're gonna get all the aluminum oxide that we need, and I'm pretty sure we need at least like four more should be safe. Ooh, I found the mother load. Okay, Kabuski, Kabuski. Oh man, it's a plethora by the, the vents. Ooh, geez, that's hot. Boink, I'm just gonna get them all. I mean, the more the merrier, I'm not really at a... Woo, woo, woo. Ow, 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 ow. Ah, it's toasty. Ah, my buns. My buns. Okay, so I have nine. That should be more than enough. But I'm gonna get this one more just because it's standing out at me. Okay. But the other good thing is that I also got the recipe for the moon pool, which means that whatever base I build next, I'm not gonna do this by the Aurora. I'm just gonna, this is gonna be the last, the prawn is gonna be the last thing I build by the Aurora. And then after that, I'm gonna build a new base. And then from there, I will build a moon pool on top of it. It will probably be closer to the, uh, the inactive lava zone entrance, which will mean that I'll have a better launching pad uh, to the next phase. So I'm going to take care of that. But right now, I also need to get some more titanium. Okay, so I just need to get the lubricant, and then I need to get a spore sack of some sort. I think the spore sack was in the crevasses here. So I might be able to find something, but I just need a bunch of this to be able to get enough lube. <laughs> lube me up, baby! Lube me hard! Every day is a good day to get luby! Let's see if I can find me a sack. Uh, have I seen a sack around here? A nice, hefty, juicy, tasty sack. Any old sack will do. Sorry. Any sack. I'm not biased when it comes to my sacks. I'll literally take anything. Ooh. Ah. Oh, that looks like a tasty sack. And I know I've got another one of these back home, so I think that's all I need. And then I should be able to make my prawn. Now, what I'll be able to make after the prawn, I have no fucking idea. I'll have it, and that's good. All right, let's make maluby. Maluby. Okay, one plasteel ingot. The sun is setting, but that doesn't matter because I'm gonna have everything that I need. And then the mobile vehicle base should be able to do all that. Unless I'm, oh no, oh no. I'm not gonna have enough power! Fuck. Really? 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 Oh, really? And then my spotlight is taking up even more power. What a bag of dick. God damn, I can't. I literally can't. What a sack of shit! <laughs> Can I make a bioreactor? Because I got a lot of biological material. Oh, I've got half of the stuff for a bioreactor. Well, eat my chode! I gotta wait till Hey, maybe if I shine a flashlight on this, it'll give me some power. Ha! Ah, let there be power! Is it working? I'm gonna deconstruct this sack of shit, because it's not any good for me. Can I have all this back? Thank you! Okay, it is now the following day, and we're starting to get power, so I just need to make the aerogel, and then I'll be good! I've also put another, uh, solar panel, so hopefully I'll get a little more power a little more quickly. And a little more power to keep me warm at night. And then I'll disassemble everything, and then move it. Okay, but now I should have everything that I need, right? I got- I got absolutely everything, I'm pretty sure! I'm pretty sure this is gonna be it! Uh oh Oh god, sorry Jeffrey, Billy, Samwise, and Marshall. I don't know what I'm doing. Yep. 
Yes! Boom! Oh, yes! It is normal when first piloting the prawn suit to feel a sense of limitless power at your fingertips. Professional prawn operators receive weeks of training to counteract this phenomenon. You will have to try to not let it go to your head. Whoa! Hey! I didn't even see you build it! Good job, boys. Hello! <laughs> limitless power, you say? Welcome Whoa. Aboard, Captain. Oh, yes, thank you. So, can I mine? Whoa. Punch. Punch! Pounch! Pounch! Pounce, 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 pounce! Pounce, pounce, I'm pouncing as hard as I can pounce. This is not mining it. What the fuck? Here, you, I'm going to pounce you. Here, you want to get pounced? Hey, pounce, pounce, pounce. Hey, come back here and get pounced. Oh, shit. I squashed him. He got squ- Oh, no, he's alive. Come here and get pounced. Pounce, pounce, pounce. Fucking don't run from my pounces. You bitch! Alright, fine. Well, apparently, I don't have the, uh, the drill. Well, shit. Well, a bunch of bag of dicks. I don't have what I need for that. Great! Wonderful! I've got a prawn suit, but no upgrade ability. Oh boy, I gotta build me a moon pool to be able to do that. Okay, but either way, I got a mission for me in the next episode, and I know what I'm gonna be doing. The prawn suit can go down to 900 meters, and that's without a pressure compensator. It can go all the way down to 1200 with a pressure compensator. So with that, I can technically go down as far as I need to, but I would like to be able to build another base. Which is gonna take a lot of doing, but I think I can do it. I just need to build a cyclops, store all my stuff from this base, maneuver it somewhere else, and then build another one. But we'll see about that in the next episode. Thank you everybody so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!